Ah, uh, come to enjoy the Hatching Tide festivities, have you? Hatching Tide has come once more, and I dare say we may have outdone ourselves this time. It all hinges on whether we can see Mistress Aliapo's dream realized. Welcome, my friend. I take it the Hatching Tide decorations have caught your eye? Oh, Konekotin, is that really you? I had hoped I might see you again, but I did not dare assume. Nonetheless, it warms my heart that you are eager to revel in Hatching Tide once more. This year it was again a dream that sparked my imagination, a dream of a gubu, massive and marvelous, standing upon the stage where else but in Ulda so many moms away. Wreathed in radiant flowers of pink, the darling gubu held in her hands an egg decorated most lavishly. And there is but one time of year when the sandy brown of that city is accented by peach blossoms in full bloom. Yes, I speak of Little Lady's Day. The message of Mistress Aliapo's dream was clear. Combine the spirit of Hatching Tide and Little Lady's Day to create the most exciting day that jewel of a city has seen. Naturally, we sought out those in charge of the event and brought our proposal before them. It is a pleasure as always, Konekotin. I see ours is not the only celebration which can boast of your selfless assistance. Mistress Aliapo's proposal was quite unprecedented, and so confident was she in her vision that she had already secured the services of a performer and his gubu companion before meeting with us. I regret to say not all in Ulda share in her conviction. Many doubt the safety of such an act, which has brought our plans for Little Lady's Day to a standstill. The trepidation is not without cause, mind you. Some 15 years ago, a supposedly tame gubu ran amok in the city streets, causing untold harm. When the Seneschal informed us of these circumstances, I got to thinking, we could hold a Hatching Tide event here in Gridania, with a Gubu as the main attraction. Not only would this lift the spirits of Gridania's people, but it would prove to those in Ulda that the Gubu poses no danger. Surely that would put any doubts to rest. In fact, the performers have already arrived. Nanotta and I were treated to a display of their show, and I must say, never have I seen a gubu so pretty and sweet. Out of all the paths forward we could have taken, this seemed to be the only one which might please all parties. I came to Gridania at once, so I could act as a witness for my peers in Ulda. Since you're here, might you accompany me to the show? Someone as well versed in this realm's beastkin, as you may be singularly qualified to tell us just how docile this gubu is. As would I. While I'm certain that there is nothing to fear, Having a stout arm by my side will be most reassuring. Well then, all is settled. The show of a lifetime awaits at Bent Branch Meadows. You had best not tarry. Agreed. Let us make our way there and speak with Aldermund, the performer in charge. Oh, I can hardly wait.
I went to visit the Gubu along with Mistress Aliapo. I must say, I never realized just how adorable they could be. The adorable Gubu is even now delivering egg-tastic cheer to all in Bent Branch Meadows. Go there and speak with Aldermond. I'm sure he shall be most eager to treat you to their show. I... I don't believe I've ever been this close to one before. Oh, Gur... Oh, didn't see you there. Can we help you? Greetings. I am the Royal Seneschal, in charge of making Little Ladies' Day most memorable for all ladies of the realm. Mistress Aliapo has informed us that you have quite the show prepared for us. Ah, we've been waiting for you. You'll be hard-pressed to pick your jaw up off the floor after you see what my Petey has in store for you. I've been watching over her ever since the day I found her wandering the wilderness all by her lonesome. We spent ages looking for her family, but now I suppose we're all each other has. Petey, a lovely name to be sure. And those flowers, are they peach blossoms? I dare say she is the very picture of a little Lady's Day princess. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm glad to hear that. And I know Petey is too. She's thought of little else since the moment Miss Aliapo came to us with her peculiar request. There's nothing in this world we love more than hearing an audience cheer. And I think this time we'll earn that and then some. We call this one, Egg Surprise. Go on, Petey! That was astounding. Impressive, ain't it? And all it took was a few glamour prisms. Of course, that wasn't where the genius was required. It took us days and nights of racking our brains to figure out how to capture the spirit of two celebrations. In the end, though, I think we did about as good a job as could have been expected. Now here comes the rub. Ever since we arrived in Gridania, Petey's been a little on edge. Hate to see her like this, but I think I've figured out what's causing it. As you just saw, she's got no problem performing in front of an audience of two. But when a whole gaggle of revelers showed up not too long ago, she just froze up. I see. She must not be used to such large crowds. Luckily, I managed to save the show by climbing atop her head. That set her mind at ease and helped her find her courage. But I ain't as young as I used to be, and my knees are already crying out in protest at the prospect of climbing her again. But you, on the other hand, I reckon you've got plenty of moms left in those adventurers' legs of yours. Might I trouble you to join our merry troop and support Petey during her star turn? 
All you have to do is climb atop her and head toward the crowds. Show them our act, and tell the spectators to come to me for an egg of their own. Still plenty to go around. Trust me, Petey will love having you aboard. Now's our chance to get these eggs into the hands of the eager Gridanians. She's too timid to wander off on her own, so if something else demands your attention, she'll make her way back to me. Now get out there and give Gridania an egg surprise. They said the show was over here, didn't they? Mount Petey and perform an egg surprise before spectators to spread hatching tide cheer throughout Bent Branch Meadows. What? What did I just see? Ah. This must be that performing Gubu I heard so much about. Good show, good show. I think I'll get an egg of my own to remember this by. The rabbits were so adorable. And that crown of peach blossoms is so pretty. I wonder if they give them out with the eggs. Let's go find out. Oh my stars, what manner of... Oh, you're promoting Hatching Tide? Yes, yes, I knew that, of course. Splendid trick that was, truly. I never knew Gubus to be adept at anything besides eating. But, you've expanded my horizons. Mayhap I'll partake in the festivities this year after all. The spirit of Hatching Tide is alive in Gridania. Return to Aldermond and tell him of Petey's courageous performances. Good work, Konekatine. Same goes for you, Petey. I could hardly pass around the eggs fast enough. Gra! And it looks like Petey's managed to conquer her fears. Let's hope these ovations are enough to conquer the Seneschals.
Although I've been but a bystander in affairs so far, what I've seen has been truly inspiring. Petey is possessed not only of a kind heart, but the soul of an entertainer as well. I would have her be the main attraction of our stage in Ulda. On behalf of the Little Ladies Day Planning Committee, I invite you to our city as honored guests. Well, I'm not one to decline such an eager invitation. Consider it accepted. But first, I'd best tell Miss Aliapo that she'll be needing more eggs. Go on to Ulda. We'll find our own way there before long. Wonderful. Then I shall depart at once and make the stage ready for your arrival. Ahem. You've helped tremendously already, but there's no denying that Petey has taken a shine to you. Might you watch over her in Ulda for a while? Just until she becomes accustomed to the crowds? Every stage is different, so it might take a while until Petey finds her footin'. But her desire to see people smile can't be doubted. She'll shine brighter than all the jewels in any merchant's coffers. Good morrow to you, adventurer. Have you any questions regarding the history of Little Ladies' Day or Hatching Tide? I am at your service. Ah, you are arrived. You'll be glad to know that I've managed to win over the planning committee with my story of Petey's show. Ulda's gates will be cast wide for her arrival. If she is amenable to the idea, I would have her be the star attraction on this year's stage. But the first order of the day is to spread the word. If we tell the citizens what we saw in Bent Branch Meadows, it is my hope that they will welcome Petey with open arms. And if her show is a success, then we will have managed a celebration which spans from Gridania to Ulda, painting smiles upon the faces of all the realm's little ladies and egg fanatics alike. I shall stay here and drum up what interest that I can. Konekotin, pray head to the steps of Thal and do the same. Meet me at the stage afterwards, and together we can shower Petey with applause.
A gubu performer? Aren't they dangerous? I suppose a friend of mine was raving about the show she saw in Gridania. If it's the very same, I suppose it's worth a look. A gubu here in Ulda? that dredges up terrible memories of the rampage I witnessed as a child. How do you know that won't happen again? Have you seen this gooby with your own eyes? Is that so? Well, I see no reason why you would lie to me. Very well, I shall go. Perhaps in this way I can conquer my fears. I didn't know Gubus were capable of anything more than mindless eating. Are you sure this show isn't just watching a beast chomping on hay? Well, when you put it that way. Besides, it's not as if I have aught else to do. All right, look for me among the crowd. The time of Petey's performance draws near. Speak with the royal seneschal before she takes the stage. This crowd's got even my knees shaken. I can't imagine what Petey must be feeling. My thanks, Konekotin. It seems word has spread even further than I had hoped. And while this is cause for celebration, Petey appears to be intimidated by their expectant gazes. Of course, you could just hop up on her head and she'd calm down just like that. But we can't lean on you forever. Why don't you rally her spirits with some encouraging words, Konekotin? Seems she's warm to you and I reckon she'd appreciate whatever you have to say. Truth be told, this is her first time performing alone in front of so many people. I can see why her legs won't listen to her heart.
That did the trick. You've really got a talent for lifting the spirits of the downtrodden, Konecotine. We are in your debt, truly. It's almost time. Lady Aliapo should have arrived by now. Konecotine, pray join the bystanders and give Petey your heartiest cheer. And now for the final act. Bedecked in blooming flowers, this Gubu princess has prepared something unforgettable for all the little ladies out there. This is just how I envisioned it in my dream. And to think I ever believed Gubus were naught but wild beasts. Oh, I simply adore her. If Hatching Tide is even half as thrilling as this show, I'd best catch the next airship to Gridania. Heh, <laughs> all's well that ends well. The little ladies get a great show, and Hatching Tide gets more egg seekers. Their smiles are like so many flowers in full bloom. Petey will be the talk of Uldar for moons to come. That she will. That she will. I have to thank you, Miss Aliapo, for giving us both the chance to bring a little brightness to so many lives. I reckon Petey had the most fun out of everyone here. I've left Nonota in charge of goings on in Gridania. Oh, would that she could see my dream come alive. Thank you, Petey, for bringing joy to the citizens of Ulda, especially its little ladies. was better than I could have imagined. Hatching Tide and Little Ladies Day both will be remembered as the highlights of the year. Couldn't have done it without your help, Konecotine. We'll both be looking back on this experience with fondness for the rest of our lives. Speaking of which, I've got to thinking, maybe it's time I leave this performance business behind me and let Petey spread her wings. I think she'd be more than happy by your side if you'll have her. As for me, I have it in mind to find a place to settle down and rest these old bones. I'd hate to tie Petey down just when she's found her passion. If you bring her along on your adventures, she'll be able to deliver smiles to corners of the world I've only heard tales of. Can't deny I already feel the tendrils of loneliness tugging at my heart, but they'll lose their grip so long as I know Petey's with you. 
I look forward to hearing of her exploits as I while the day's away. I don't mean to be rude, but I am required in Gridania. Nonota must know just how perfectly my dream manifested. Heh, give the lass our regards, eh? I'll stay here in Uldar until the festivities end, and who knows, maybe longer. And with that, allow me to thank you personally, Kanekatain. No princess in all the realm could have asked for a more devoted seneschal. And that includes Petey. Seeing you dote upon her so dutifully reminded me why I volunteered for this position in the first place. Although Petey's show is concluded, Little Lady's Day has not. Pray enjoy all that we have prepared. And don't be a stranger in Gridania either. <laughs>